Hi, I'm Alex Almeida with EMC's Data Protection and Availability Division. Most of the customers I have spoken with recently are fully leveraging virtualization in their data centers and have started to build upon that virtualization foundation and introduce robust and agile IT as a service catalogs to their end users. It doesn't just stop there. These same customers are exploring consumption of public cloud resources to augment their private cloud. With the VMware vCloud suite, service providers are building robust cloud services to meet the growing needs of organizations looking to consume public cloud offerings. Leveraging vCloud Director as a foundation, service providers can provide robust capabilities for business application and workload hosting using a subscription or pay-as-you-go model complete with automation to support these IT as a service workflows. Lacking, however, has been the robustness of providing data protection services and resources within their offerings. End user tenants who are looking for confidence in deploying business critical apps in a hybrid cloud scenario are seeking out those providers who can provide seamless data protection capabilities with the ability for them to control access to their protected data with self-service capabilities and workflows. In our newly announced version of Avamar 7.1, we are bringing to market integrated backup resource capabilities for the vCloud ecosystem. This is a big step to assure that just as data protection is a tightly integrated foundation of VMware private clouds, the same foundation and robust offering of data protection service levels can be maintained for hybrid clouds built upon VMware vCloud. So what exactly are the details? Well, in Avamar 7.1, we have implemented embedded backup services into vCloud Director. Just like VMware's vSphere's compute and memory resources can be shared and distributed in a multi-tenant model, EMC Avamar data protection capabilities can now be a similarly deployed and managed resource in vCloud Director. These resources are assigned to org VDCs, and through that assignment, exposed to tenants for consumption in protecting vApps. EMC Avamar has always been designed and enhanced with scale and performance in mind. This capability is no different. We have architected this integration to scale with vCloud, so even the largest deployments can look to this solution with confidence. This feature brings to market the first standard backup API for VMware cloud providers. Other solutions today simply create service accounts for vCloud access and perform backup and recovery operations externally. With this native vCloud feature set extension approach and providing all backup resources without an additional software package to orchestrate and manage, end users will be much more likely to consume public cloud resources with confidence and feel right at home with backup services simply being added to existing management portals. With this familiarity and confidence, adoption of hybrid clouds are sure to accelerate. For those organizations and service providers that have spent a lot of time and resources developing rich IT as a service portals, with Avamar resources now an extension of vCloud's feature set, you can simply enhance your existing portal service catalog by leveraging extensible REST APIs for backup and recovery functionality. This enables service providers and enterprises to seamlessly integrate with Avamar's capabilities, which will enhance their users' experience. In the rest of this video, we will take a deeper look at how the Avamar backup resources are deployed, managed, and consumed within the vCloud framework. Before we go any deeper into how backup services are deployed and assigned, Let's take a minute to review the various roles within the vCloud ecosystem and the tasks specific to backup each one performs. In a typical vCloud scenario, there are three defined admin roles. These roles are the cloud admin, the org admin, and finally, the line of business admin or LOB admin. As we move from left to right on this slide, the role shifts from that of a provider managing resources to that of a consumer of those resources. Avamar's integration into vCloud Director was designed with this role-based model in mind from the ground up. Let's take a look at how each role leverages data protection resources. We'll start with the cloud admin. 
The cloud admin has full access privileges and enables backup services for new tenants and existing tenants. As we will also discuss, policy creation and definition is ultimately controlled by the cloud admin, configured based on tenant SLAs, and then placed into catalog for consumption and a customization by the tenant. The org admin has an interesting role to play both as a consumer of the services provided by the cloud admin, but then in some cases is also a provider of services to subtenants. For data protection services, the org admin can have limited access to be able to customize backup policies which were assigned by the service provider to the VDC. As is common in most vCloud director scenarios, the org admin is the provider and manager of virtual applications, which are then administered by the lines of business admins. The LOB admins have limited access with no ability to manage backup and recovery resources, but have full control to perform on-demand backup and recoveries for their assigned vApps. You may likely have these roles defined within access accounts already configured and provisioned in vCloud Director. To provide access to data protection tasks that we are discussing here, there's really no need to configure new access accounts or service accounts within vCloud Director. This shared authorization model I am detailing here leverages vCloud Director's role-based access control mechanism natively, which removes the requirement other solutions in the marketplace have providing access rights to separate tools and management interfaces. For vCloud backup resources, the foundation is the backup appliance. A backup appliance can be either an Avamar data store, Avamar virtual edition, or an Avamar server with one or more data domain systems. For this illustration, the process starts with the cloud administrator. A member of the cloud administration team is responsible and is provided with the capabilities to manage all of the backend backup appliances. As we begin moving up in this multi-tenant structure, the administrator will create backup repositories, which are essentially a one-to-one -one relationship to backup appliances. With this level of abstraction, we can now logically assign and divide up the pool of backup appliances amongst tenants who will consume their resources. While a repository can only be created using one backup appliance, a single backup appliance can be assigned to more than one repository. This is ultimately what allows multiple tenants to be assigned and logically partitioned on a single backup appliance. As you can see in this diagram, the backup appliance on the right is hosting both repository 3 and repository 4. For this example, we have two organizations or tenants represented here by Org VDC A and Org VDC B. The cloud administrator, upon enrolling each tenant or adding backup services to an existing tenant, will map a desired repository to each of these tenants. The number of repositories mapped to each Org VDC is purely dependent on SLAs with that tenant. Repository mappings to Org VDCs is entirely flexible to meet the needs of each tenant. In this example, we are mapping repository 1 to Org VDC B and repository 2 to Org VDC A. Depending on the capacity and changing performance requirements for particular tenants, it may be necessary to map multiple backup repositories to a particular Org VDC. In this scenario, we are also assigning repository 4 to Org VDC B and repository 3 to Org VDC A. When multiple repositories are assigned to an Org VDC, only one is considered active at a time. It is the responsibility of the cloud administrator to determine which repository should be active for a specific tenant. Repositories in an active state will service any new incoming backup requests, while non-active repositories simply service up restores for any previous backups which were performed to them. In this example, upon adding repositories 3 and 4, repositories 1 and 2 are no longer active. The backup repository construct also serves another purpose for the cloud administrator, and that is the ability to enable and configure service quotas for specific tenants. 
Both total capacity usage quotas as well as daily capacity usage quotas can be configured on each repository, therefore controlling consumption of tenants and their subtenants. Ultimately, once assigned to the org VDCs, backup repository resources are able to be consumed and leveraged for protection of vApps and VMs by both org admins as well as LOB admins. End-to-end, -end, these mappings provide appropriate layers of abstraction for efficient consumption, but without losing the flexibility and control for those customers that require it. With the underlying data protection resources mapped and configured, let's take a look at how the data protection policy management occurs amongst the vCloud Director roles. When scheduling VCD construct backup policies within Avamar, the cloud administrator must first create a series of backup policy templates. A policy template contains a schedule, a retention, and an option set that you define based on customers' individual needs. The attributes of each component of the specific template is based on the desired service level that the cloud admin will like, would like to provide to the tenant. Usually these policy templates are designed and created to provide gold, silver, or bronze style levels of service. For example, these templates are then placed by the cloud admin into a catalog, which is then assigned to org VDCs for application as a default policy or to specific virtual applications. If we refer back to our vCloud director roles, the org admin has a hybrid role as a consumer and a provider. For backup policies, the org admin will select a policy from those pre-assigned to his VDC, and then customize or assign these policies as default or specifically to virtual applications. This allows for the org admin to have the flexibility he needs while providing the cloud administrator with the control to make sure the tenant is operating within agreed upon SLAs. Once all of the policies have been assigned to vApps, the backup scheduler will take care of backups automatically. As a quick review, we discussed how Avamar provides for vCloud data protection resources that are able to be deployed at scale. I highlighted for you how unlike other solutions, Avamar's implementation is to embed native backup service extensions inside of vCloud Director's already existing management and role-based access control mechanisms. There are no other tools or management interfaces required to provide access to. The familiar vCloud Director REST API, including authentication and authorization, is all that is needed for integration to Avamar backup services. Ultimately, this provides the type of data protection services that are implemented by service providers in a straightforward manner and help accelerate hybrid cloud adoption from end users as they are more confident in consuming public cloud resources with data protection built in from a provider. EMC's Data Protection and Availability Division takes data protection of the ever-evolving software-defined data center very seriously. Avamar 7.1 provides comprehensive integration to vCloud Director and the virtual data center with a focus on ease of use, reliability, and flexibility. While we didn't review all of the great foundational technology some of you already know Avamar employs for virtual machines, all of those industry-leading features such as change block tracking for backup and restore and automated proxy load balancing certainly apply. It's cloud-ready data protection built on strong technology, leading foundation, and long track record as the fastest in the industry for VMware workloads. For more information on the Avamar 7.1 release or any other component of the EMC Data Protection Suite, visit emc.com.